the dot product, right? If we have two vectors, u, u1, comma, u2, all right, and v equals v1, comma, v2. If we're going to look at the dot product of u dot v, remember the dot product. That just simply states, not a vector form, but it's a scalar, u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. Now, what I want you guys to understand is if, remember we talked about dot product, it produces a scalar. If your scalar, or if your u1 dot v1 plus u2 dot v2, your dot product, if the dot product of your two vectors is equal to 0, then u and v are or orthogonal, or what we call perpendicular. U and V are? Yes. A so that means, yes. Put a D. Yeah, I meant to say D. And V are orthogonal, perpendicular, meaning they're going to create a right angle. OK? So that's one way that we're going to be using the dot product to be able to see if we have perpendicular lines or not. So if we have perpendicular lines, um, then we'll know that the dot product is going to equal 0. OK? And that's it. That's your, that's your new instruction today.